Hello, this video is to show how to convert a PDF file downloaded from your bank or credit card account and uh, save it as a CSV file with layout compatible with zero accounting system. We're gonna use proper soft PDF to CSV converter and you can find the download link to this product in the description to this, to this video. We're gonna use some sample PDF file to convert data and this is to show the PDF file this is a chase statement PDF file and has uh, some deposits addition some deposits and some uh, withdrawals and PDF file shows the uh, PDF to CSV converter shows that shows date, shows uh, amount, withdrawal, deposit. Uh, the date uh, on this view uh, is uh, specifically shown as a month as a name to show you that this is just to, to review transactions. Uh, your, how, how dates are on PDF file, how dates inside software and how dates outside are uh, two uh, three different formats and it's, it's easy to get confused uh, which format is shown so the converter always shows inside it always shows dates as a year months name and day so you can check so if so dates are properly parsed and to uh, from the PDF file, as you see here, there's no year here. It could be treated as a as a July second or as a February seventh, right? So what converter does? It looks for for dates, and if it sees dates certain way, like like here, dates start to be clear that this is July, this is month day format, right? and the converter shows this is all July dates. There's also year. Converter tries to look on a PDF file on a statement for year, the, the distinctive uh, indication of year, which is, let's say, here. So it determines this is 2016, and, you, uh, and it shows dates, dates with 2016 year, and because dates here are missing year. And the last, uh, so if there's some PDF files that it's, there is no clear indication what the year is, you can control the year here by setting it. So you basically, you, you can set the year you like. Now, when we go to CSV file, there's different CSV layouts as the CSV is generic format, there's regular CSV layout that will just save all the columns you see inside the application. There is Excel file, the same but Excel format, XLX, the, 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 the recent XLX X format, there is also X, old XLS format, there is CSV layout for QuickBooks Online, there is CSV layout for, for Hero, there is Quick and Mac, CSV Mint layout, there is Posh layout, there is Clipboard layout. Uh, the Clipboard is the same as uh, CSV layout, it's just you can copy it without saving the file, you can copy it to Clipboard and then you start Excel and just paste it. Uh, so we're gonna, today we're gonna use CSV 0. And the format for CSV0 could be months, day, year, or day, month, year, as they suggest on their help page, uh, depending on your country setting. So what the converter does, it looks at your country setting and uses either months or day as a suggest, suggesting the format, but you can set it the way you like. So you, uh, we're gonna use for, for zero, we're gonna use months, day, year. This checkbox will make the the converter to open CSV file after it is it created, so you can review it before importing into your accounting system. What else? Uh, you can check the you can check the payee and description here and see uh, if it's correct, if it's uh, what you expect. 
and for PDF files what it does it takes description from the PDF file whatever it is and it tries to uh, remove all noise and that description noise that uh, and just leave only uh, pay related um, information or details or pay name uh, so in this case this is not a good example but let's say if something like there is a uh, the memo or description has day some date some numbers some uh, phrases like deposit uh, POS so all this stuff is removed for pay to create a CSV file so first we select a target then select format or conform format and then we click convert and then we create CSV file offered with the same name as PDF file you can change it uh, to what you like and then what it, it informs you that uh, uh, it says open zero and import to and import the CSV file we're gonna click OK and then we can use notepad to look at CSV file at the converter does it tries to the converter tries to call the system and say and uh, ask open this CSV file with whatever uh, app you have installed so if you have Excel installed and it registered to open CSV files then you will the, 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 the then Excel will start with CSV file open uh, in my on my system there is no there is nothing installed so that the notepad could be still okay to you review the CSV file and as you see the date format as I specified here this is gonna be months day year and it's this is months zero seven day in year it's not uh, it's not months name it's not year months day is it's, it's the format you specify and so the last thing the file is saved the last thing we're gonna do is import it into zero so we have some test account in zero and accounts bank account and then let's say we have checking account and then we click manage account import the statement and then it says that you, it's they support CSV file and we browse for CSV then we select uh, uh, one second so we okay date created and we just sort by date so the, here's our simple CSV file open it import and so what it does it 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 selected everything for us um except check number is there a check number here so there is date amount pay description reference check number so it did not select a check number Ah, sorry. This is uh, this. Uh, it goes different way. So this is the name. This is these are names from the CSV file. These are names inside zero. So we're gonna say this is check number. Okay. And reference. This is reference. If you have it, um, it, it it probably good to use. Uh, in others in other product like CSV to CSV when you have Excel or CSV file with additional information and you want to you want to create CSV layout with uh, you know that compatible with zero then you would you would map this column and use it here don't import first line because they are column hidden. yes do we have column headings and then click save so it is, it is important to pay attention what is happening what what is what you importing what are, what are mapping just a little attention before you click save before you click import before you click convert 14 statements line imported zero duplicates what does what it does is uh, 
now it shows it's july 2nd 2016 the amount deposit deposit it uh, uh, now we have to process it inside the application like uh, map it to proper accounts select proper vendor names as a usual process in accounting system after you import a uh, sees uh, any file with transactions you have to quickbooks call it mapping zero call it uh, review uh, and so before you before you just you just dump those transactions into your system it, it usually goes to some intermediate place where you review important tra transactions and then add them to register thank you very much please subscribe